Here's something you didn't see at the 2023 CMT Music Awards. It's Jelly Roll winning his very first award of the night. I just won an award? The digital first performance winner. I won this right here now, though? Digital first performance winner. Let's go! Wait until you find out what he's going to do with that award. It's as remarkable as anything that happened on television. I'm Billy Dukes, and I know, I promised you Carrie Underwood and Winona and started with Jelly Roll. Don't worry, I'll get there. This video is going to be packed with backstage and BTS moments from the show. Let's start a conversation about your favorite and least favorite moments from the CMTs below. I'll begin by saying I loved watching Cody Johnson throughout the Skinner tribute, but I really didn't care for the Alanis Morissette moment. The fisheye camera was weird, and frankly, I never loved the song, and I'm a 90s kid. Thumbs up if you agree and consider tapping that subscribe button as well. Instead of the usual top 5 moments video, we're just going to show you things you didn't see at the CMTs and comment on a few you did, like this moment between Cody Johnson and Jelly Roll, yikes, and this moment between Super Bowl winner Travis Kelsey and Carrie Underwood. Apparently number 87 has jokes. How about Kane Brown and Caitlin Brown answering the important questions? Will they do another duet together? Definitely. Speaking of country couples, Kelsey Ballerini and Chase Stokes made it red carpet official. Here's a few pics. When Kelsey performed, Chase was into it. Afterwards, he gave her a little squeeze to show he appreciated her effort. Other couples kissing on the red carpet included Russell Dickerson and his wife, Blake Shelton and wife Gwen Stefani, who wore fake boots I'm pretty sure I could pull off, and Jelly Roll with wife Bunny XO. More on her in a moment, but first, did anyone else notice Jen Landon? She plays Teeter on Yellowstone, and I think this pic really shows that she's built for it. Veins were almost literally popping out of her arms. Girl does not skip bicep day. Just because that's a pic of Hardy too, we had to show off this one of Hardy. That's nice. Okay, Carrie Underwood and Winona. Here is the photo they'd eventually take, but it's the getting there that's interesting. See if you can hear what she says. Now I'm gonna play it again with captions. Listen close. That last part is kind of inaudible, but basically why is angling for an invite to Carrie's crib, which, I mean, can you blame her? Here's a few pictures that show how Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher live. Yeah, or with Winona. Carrie, of course, would not win video of the year because that would go to Kane and Caitlin Brown for thank God. You can check out tasteofcountry.com for an explanation of why that happened. Link in the corner and the description section of this video. I talked a very important interview there too with Jelly Roll, who was last night's big winner with three awards, including Male Video of the Year. Jelly also won Breakthrough Male Video of the Year. I love y'all so much. Thank you, CMT, baby. Look at that. Three awards in one night. And our photographers caught this moment between him and his wife, Bunny. Before the show, he won the aforementioned digital first performance of the year. I think I'll honor the tradition, too. I think Cody won it last year. That's right. And he gave it to his guitar player. Uh -huh. So I'm going to give it to mine. There you go. Let Cody lead the way on it. You remember this photo from earlier? Yeah, it was all in good fun. Moments later, our team caught this moment between Cody Johnson and Jelly Roll. I'm not lying when I say you'll struggle to find a Jelly Roll hater in country music right now. Thumbs up if you're a part of his congregation, and remember to tap subscribe if you appreciate original video analysis like this. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching.